you don't know how to get in. Um, <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into this set. So, Ripple Puff on the Meta Knight. Meta Knight does have some pretty good tools in the matchup with the disjoints and whatnot. But unfortunately, because he is a short character, he cannot reliably force the grab release on Wario. Now, Mar Marth and Snake both can. They can both force the grab release, but even when they do have that option, they still have to like find a way to get Wario to overextend long enough to hit the grab, right? Are you sure this isn't? Are you sure this is Kendo and not me? Because I taunt all the time. But is is something wrong? I mean, he seems I, like he's being a little more passive than I expected. Like as if he's trying to say something. Oh, oh yeah, this E stick's not working. Oh, Tanba said his stick's not working. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, well, we gotta wait for Puff to figure it out. Yeah, I'm so kind of surprised he hasn't picked up the message yet. Yeah, I think he's finally getting it. Maybe? Nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, Temba had some issues and Ripple Puff took like two minutes to figure it out. Uh, okay. They're gonna I kind of thought the pond was a good giveaway. They're gonna restart real quick. That's a good. Grime. Mike Ray with the Grime callouts. Uh, both in the Discord and in this Twitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. It's okay. Mike Ray lives for the Grime. He likes it. Who's the one who did the grime in uh, Thursday's Tourney, where they were, like, throwing away Caius's armor pieces? <laughs> he went to SD his stock, and they threw away his pieces while he was SDing. That was pretty funny, honestly. Oh, man. <clears throat> Survival! Okay, this is Losers. Mario! This is losers, so let's change this to losers. I think it's losers semis. If I'm not mistaken. Let's we'll leave it as losers semis. There we go. Anyhow, so now we can see them go again. Three, two, one, go! And off we go. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Can Wario punish NATO with his down air? Um, yes, but he has to space it correctly. So, the way Meta Knight's NATO works, it doesn't really have a hitbox, um, not a high hitbox at the top of the NATO in the middle. It's kind of like a V shaped hitbox, but there, there's like a little dot in the middle of the V where that, there's a hitbox there too. Um,. So, you can kind of typically down air it from above it with most characters. And some characters who have like transcendent priority or the big disjoints, they can just like swing at him and hit him from inside his NATO. You know, Sonic can F smash it. Uh, as you saw, Ness can foot air it. Or PK fire it too. Or yeah, use the tail of the PK fire. Or PK thunder. <laughs> exactly. So, Wario has his options, but I think the hardest punching option he has for it, surprisingly, is just F Smash, because his F Smash has super armor. He can just armor through it. Instead of shielding right there, if he's an aggressive Wario, he would have just F Smashed him. He doesn't yeah, need to shield. Uh, how long is the, how many frames is that super armor again? It, it's for basically like until the hitbox is active. Oh, so the charging, like, up until the charge, and then the hit? Yeah. Like, yeah. It is basically, you can't hit him before he hits you. Like, now let me tell you. You're gonna hit him at the same time. There's no hitting him at the same time and winning that. You're just gonna lose that, because he's gonna take damage. You're gonna take damage, and he's not. Well, he'll both take damage, but you're gonna take knockback and he won't. Yeah. So it's basically that right. It's how well you can trade each other. Yeah. But let me tell you, I know Kenda is really good at patience. Like, he can, like, for a while, oh. he, he will wait until you make a mistake to waft you. He'll wait till the game's over to waft you. 
That's true, but I'm surprised he didn't take advantage of that. Yeah, no, no, he he is very patient, though, yes. I'm just, obviously I'm joking, but yeah. He's definitely a very patient player. He's not one to commit to anything he thinks is remotely risky. If he thinks there's a chance, he thinks there's a 5% chance that his play isn't going to work out, then he's going to run away instead. He's not trying to challenge hitboxes. He doesn't know a matchup. He's just not, he's not about it. He's just, he's gonna wait for you to do something he knows he can definitely punish. I and predict the next swap will be after a NATO punish. Probably. There but you go, ooh, down the smash. Black Rip buff taking the first stock. This is probably gonna change the outcome significantly of this game. The thing is, the thing with Tenda, um, because of his playstyle, he is drastically worse if you take, if you have a stock lead on him. And he is drastically better. If you oh, but I don't know if that happens. <laughs> Just a random back air. Ripple Puff didn't see it coming, didn't shield. Maybe he did see it coming and tried to power shield, but with the little net play delay, they can't always get those power shields. Sometimes you just gotta be content to shield early. That might have been one of those situations. Um, yeah. Also possible, maybe she just didn't think it was in range. But whatever the case, um, now they're on even stock. Ripple got a little percent lead here. Honestly, tended not camping nearly as hard as he uh, as he has in some of his other sets. To be sure, it's definitely fighting more. Not yeah, like I deliberately running use... away. I notice he's trying to use his bike to actually hit hit him. It's mm -hmm. like kind of like in the later Smash titles. Yeah. Okay. Just the F smash doesn't quite well, get I'm it. Surprised he didn't, I'm surprised he didn't try wafting there. Yeah. He's but holding, hey, he'll he's use it when he something. feels it. Yeah. I mean, it is a good for recovery, too, just in case. Yeah, and it might help a little in the melee matchup. Yeah, it does go for the waft there. Hits it, but not the full percent. It hit at yeah, a bit of a weird enough. angle. And at this rate, he can still continue his passive play style and just build it up at this rate. Yeah. That, that's kind of been his thing, right? He just kind of likes to use the walk. He uses it against me all the time when I try recovering his Nez. It's so easy against him, but ooh, the lack of VI on the forward smash yeah, will lead to a lead. That. Gonna be a tough yep. spot for Rip Puff now. Now he's got to play the chase game, chasing down a Wario. Rip and now I can, Whoa, now Tanda we'll... actually going in, this is... Dude, I wish you played like this versus me. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. I don't get it. Isn't this where he would want to play passive now? Yes. I mean, what's he doing? Yes, he's going in. I wish he did this against me. I wanted to play an aggro warrior. He just wanted to camp. I'm so mad about it. But yeah, there you go. T if he's playing Tenda like this, going yeah. in now. What is what? What is this blasphemy? Like I'm, I he has a stock lead. Mind game -wise. All right. He's definitely Sorry, he's hurt. definitely kind of bobbing right now. Ripple got to make something happen though. Although I'm got curious, to grab. Does, uh, does she have With any? the back there, that's like, gonna fake it. Does he now have any on air releases on Mario? Like he head does, head. but he has to get it near the ledge. Meta Knight's too short, so you can't really force an air release. Ooh, Ooh the perfect really waft. Waft. Yeah, that was a perfect waft. Cause the thing is. Well, okay, so you know about nine wind from DK. You know what a nine uh, wind is. Uh, what nine wind? Nine wind, nope. nine like the number nine. Uh, uh, is that how many it takes? Uh, no. So a nine wind, what that is, is DK has this mechanic, where normally you know his neutral B, where he does the thing where he swings his arm in a circle for a while and then he punches uh -huh. you. Well, yeah. the thing with that bunch, when you fully charge it, it does a bunch of damage, does a bunch of shield damage, does a bunch of knockback. But both Waft and DK's punch have this mechanic where if they're nearly full charge, like 90%, like 9 out of 10 percent, then they do even more knockback. Yeah, although right, less damage. Right, they'll do more you knockback. Know. It's like twice as much knockback, but it doesn't do as much damage. And it's the That's case correct. with both moves. So, it's the same concept with Wario's down B. I did not know that about Donkey Kong, but I knew Wario's was stronger before with fully charged, but just less damage. Yeah. So Wario's Waft does that too, DK Punch does that as well. 
You can, you, if you ever watch DK Will, you'll probably see him kill people at like 60 with it, and it's, it's it looks so dumb. <laughs> it, it, it looks so dumb, but it's it's pretty strong. So, um, yeah, and that's pretty much how he got that kill. But anyhow, FD is the counter pick. Very yeah, surprised uh... Tana didn't ban this. This is probably the worst stage as Wario, um, because there's no there's no like platforms to retreat to. You can't like land on the platform or shield and then or cheat with an aerial or something. Uh, Maybe so the idea was though he could have high, higher survivability. Possibly. That might have been exactly what he was looking for. Because with this play style, I imagine he d isn't looking for those kinds of plays anyway, usually. Unless he's playing really aggressive. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, actually, he caught up pretty good since earlier while we were talking about DK and Wario charges. Yeah. So 89 to 115. Pretty even first game, uh, second game here on FD. And you know, I'm noticing Wario's air dodge is incredible, but it seems like it's kind of working against him when he does it next to her. Mm hmm. Because uh, with Mad Knight and there you the go, overall and the, there's data. The, see, now this is the Tenda I'm, I was expecting. Before. More camp, more camp. No, keep camping, Tenda. Just wait until the waft is ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just he doesn't need. Oh, he waited too long. I see. That's why he was trying to go in a little bit because he wanted to get the that, this rate, though, perfect do you think it'll waft. Still it'll still kill. One hundred percent, no problem. Oh, that is a Ooh, weird. DI wacky on that DI. Counter. Yeah, for sure. That was really wacky. Now it's right, of... I'm kind of curious what will happen. I, I kind of yeah. doubt that he can get another back air fluke like the first one. <laughs> now now Tenda down another first sock. You gotta see him. Is he gonna find something to get his way? To get in there? How's he getting in? And I noticed the way he was forward smacking there. Why didn't he do it earlier? And I was thinking he was trying to predict her rolling or being more defensive there. Oh, goes to the loft but punish. gets shielded. Unfortunate for Tenda. Now, without that waft, he's gonna have to wait another 40 seconds or however long to charge up that waft before he can use it again. And when you're down a stock like this, it'll be a lot of work. Oh, a bear. Up there to that punish the lift shuttle oh. loop. Yeah, yeah, I know Nez can do that similar kind of motion too, like Wario. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much like any character with a quick up air does it. I do it all the time when I'm playing Meta Knight Dittos or if I play Marth. Um, Nez can funny... do it. Here's the funny thing, though. I always have much a harder time landing Wario's up air than a Nez up air. Like, mm -hmm. is Wario's up air instant, com like, compared to Nez's, like, uh, maybe five frames until it comes out? Mm -hmm. No wonder it messes me up. I'm just not used to the timing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about instant. I think they have a similar timing, but uh, they probably have bigger disjoint, different, like, timing sense, different hitbox. Anyhow, um, yeah, so Tenda did manage to close down that stock, though, with that up air, and as a result, now he's just trying to find a way to whittle back that percent lead bit by bit. Unfortunately, his aggressiveness this time did not pay off, and he no. lost his next stock. No, I mean, he kind of has to be aggressive to an extent when you have a 60% lead in your opponent's favor, so... Makes sense. Yeah, at this rate, he's also on the time limit for the next walk hit. Yep. He's gonna need a big waft if he wants to pull it back really easy. Unfortunately for him, he burns another waft into a shield. Okay, Rip Puff getting a grab on the landing though. Ooh, a little pivot grab little coming out. Grab. Yeah, a little pivot grab attempt there for Tendon. Quite get it though. He go for the F smash, doesn't get it, goes for a pivot grab expecting a dash attack, I would imagine. Doesn't get that either. Now he's gotta be careful because he doesn't have his bike anymore either. Yeah. Oh, oh that was so close. But it looks like uh, he DI'd away from it, huh? Yeah. Playing real safe, safe on both ends. Don't want to make that thing powerful yep. engage and then get punished for it. At this point, Ripple Puff can kind of play however, though. We got Wario at 146. Ooh, gets hit with the hat to the face, but not dying. Well, and that's, no, no, pick up B, that should 
no, just barely doesn't do it. Excellent DI from Mr. Tenda here. Surviving that one. Getting a lot of back hairs recently, though. Although, unfortunately, it's real stale now. But that hit through the NATO, and that'll take it to final Taking stock three. Tilt there. But as quickly as it was lost, yep. uh, she took his away. Yep. And there goes so now that. Now it's 1 1. We, yeah, we're talking 1 1 now. We're going to see what Ripple's ban here is going to be. And we're going to see Panda probably going to take him or take her straight to PS1, honestly. So what's DSR? Dave's stupid rule. Oh. That's what it's oh, called. Yeah. And it's, it's called that because it is a stupid rule. <laughs> the rule okay. is you are not allowed to play on a stage that you already won on. Unless they want to. Unless the opponent agrees to it. But, right. in most cases, they will not. Um, there are a few exceptions to that. Like, obviously, if your opponents just chill and you know, they just want to play the game because they love the game. But people who are grimy are going to be... <laughs> well, like, let's say if your opponent really wants the win, I should say. Then they're going to grind you out a little bit and say, Nah, dude. We can't play on a neutral stage. I want to play any stage that's going to give me the advantage. They take any advantage like they can get, so. They're going Yoshi's Island. Then. Yoshi's. Wow, okay. Well, it has platforms, at least. Three, two, one, go! Well, uh, one platform and then two random ones, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Already losing a lot of the shield on Tenda. Yeah. It does recover pretty quickly, though. Gonna be alright. Okay, nice little up angle there. He tended with his shield. So I'm curious about something. What causes certain aerial moves to trip people at early percent? Um. It's just an early percent thing. Not every area in the game has it, but certain aerials just trigger trips at a percent chance. Um, Wario's forward air can do it. Sonic's back air can do it. Um, I don't even remember all the moves that can do it. But there's... I've had it happen with Nessa's sour hits too, or forward air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can happen. Ooh, and that's something. I nope. Haven't seen yeah, the yet. man grab. Went for it. Honestly, you haven't really seen a whole lot of bite from. Uh, Tenda, but it is one of Wario's strengths because it, it's a pretty good punish anytime someone's sitting in shield too much. You know, if they're yeah, constantly shielding those down airs, you just kind of go in and bite them. I think it, it doesn't take priority over the NATO still, huh? Um, no, I don't believe it does, but if your opponent's... It, it's more of something you do in aggression. You don't really do it in neutral. You kind of like your opponent's in this position where you're pressuring their shield, then you bite. So, oh. that's why you're not going to see too much from him. If you see Tenda do it, it's because he feels he's conditioned his opponent's sit and shield. That's right. That's a good idea. Especially if they like playing out of shields, right? Mm hmm Exactly. Okay, and Tenda's got his full charge walk on deck. So, it's probably going to try and get the KO at this rate and then use it for damage in the second stage. Right, exactly. He could KO with the waft, but the main point of a full charge waft is for the first sand, right? Sure. Oh, surprised that wasn't an oh, I was about to Ooh. say surprised that wasn't an up, up, up uh, what do you call it, up error, but of course Smash will do just the trick. Yeah, nice, that was a cross up, that was a lot, Did down air cross up and F smash, a lot of shield pressure there. Now the timing in question is, when will he send off the next walk? Probably here. No. Not Platform got the way. Probably looking for just the guaranteed, because he's had a lot of walks, say to shield this game. I think he's just content to look for something he knows he's guaranteed. Like right there, I would have expected a waft there out of that to punish that a Nair on shield, because neutral air on shield is incredibly unsafe. Maybe he's looking to end the stock with it, though. Um, it would still be a KO option, but he has to make sure he's using it a high enough percent, because it doesn't have quite the same KO potency 
as the uh, mo mostly charged walk. At this rate, though, he's still doing pretty good at. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. go. There's Waft. He does rack a ton of damage from that. Doesn't get the kill, though. Oh, but he's in a really good up. state now, especially with that up there. Ooh, there like you this go. Rate, he's going to have motorcycle off stage. Stop maybe? Nope. Here. Usually I see Tenda use a bike off stage and then jump back in air dodge or something. But that time he was just fine staying on stage. But yeah, he could totally just like win this from like being super aggressive now, I bet. He could. But he's still playing pretty defensively. No, oh, never mind. I mean, <laughs> for Tenda, for, <laughs> I'll just say, this is the most aggressive I've seen Tenda play I like so far, so I, I can't say. Um, it's, it's a little defensive, but like as far as Wario play, this is like pretty standard. This is about what you, what you usually see from Wario. Like, clearly Tenda's not really trying to time out this set. He totally could, though. He could. He's up a whole stock. Honestly, he's pretty, like, solid if he does here. It's not entirely a necessity, but he definitely could. <laughs> oh, how's this gonna work? Nope. Ooh, doesn't F smash the NATO there. That's yeah, unexpected. I'm really there. Yeah. Is that NATO, like, anytime Meta Knight NATO's off ledge against Wario, you have a good amount of time to react to that. Like, Meta Knight's NATO in the first place, it's already frame 11, which means it's pretty slow and somewhat reactable, like, as long as you're expecting him to do it sometime. Ooh, and the lack of VI on that down my building. Yeah, no VI oh, at yeah. all. That's not. Yeah, that's gonna be that spot. Another fully charged watch coming up. Mm -hmm. Already got Ripple at 95. Yeah, this rate. Kinda I slowly feel like losing could... the lead, kind of letting it slip a little here. Just needs to close out stock here with a maybe a waft and something else. Forward smash up air yeah. or a waft, I'll probably take it for sure. No waft Only there. problem is he, he the, the spacing is just not in his favor right waft? now. Waft? Nope, still does not expire. waft. Maybe it was looking for the dash back is there. It looked like. Oh man, if maybe he pressed the kill. Oh, that almost broke nope. the shield. Very close. He had that opportunity to keep pressuring your shield, but at that rate, it's lost now. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, that almost took it. But for the first time this game, Ripple has the lead, even if by oh. a small percent. Oh, misses the Sometimes up air. Oh, can't get the up air. Does Ripple gets the down smash? Just looking to camp this landing. Oh, oh almost get that. Oh, back hit a down up. smash. That will take it. But I take it it wasn't early. It was too early for the super armor. Uh, like well, it was. Yeah, no, no, the move, the tech had already ended. Oh. Uh, it's it's at the start. The start armor is at the start of the move, all the way until the move hit connects. If the move uh, attack ends, the super armor ends. Okay. That's why you're so you're never supposed a... to trade with. It. It's a, it's just a it, think of it like DK's punch, right? Like right. you you don't. You don't trade with it. What you do is you shield grab it. The same deal with Wario's F smash. You want to hit him after the fact, not during. So it looks like we're going to PS1 with a Yoshi span. And it's a uh, 2-1 in Ripple's favor? Yep, 2-1. And Ripple really clutched out that last game. His last stock, two stocks were played really well. Maybe Tenda should have camped him out. Should have camped her out, you know, like... Could have gone for the timeout. She, Nintendo was content to timeout in other matches. I totally um, would have. <laughs> don't know why Tenda decided to suddenly choose this set to start playing aggressive, but he didn't really play aggro in any of his other sets. Um, and I don't understand so this is the first here. one. That little random stop. I don't know what's going on there, but wait for a little lead though. Maybe. Although, what do you? What's your favorite uh, transformation on the stage? Uh, windmill, for sure. No question. With, windmill. With the tech. Yeah, <laughs> windmill because I like doing windmill combos. I like seeing windmill combos. 
people attack the windmill, that's fine too. You get different things happen, but I think it's really interesting. Speaking of windmill, here you go, we have windmill right here. Is anyone gonna do anything with it though? You kinda wanna see someone throw someone into the windmill and then predict the attack and oh. do something off that, you know? Oh no. Oh, gets the ledge hog. That's gonna be a stock lead for Ripple Puff. Yeah, Panda's in real big trouble now. Mm hmm. Got a lot of work to do to pull this back if he's going to. Don't want to count the man out just yet, but. It is looking rough for Tenda. Yeah, I'm afraid to say it's starting to look a little sloppy on his end. No, uh, that's, that, is the, that is the crux. Um, Tenda, he's kind of more in his comfort zone, I think, when you're forced to come to him. And if that's the case, I, I'm gonna have to play him next. <laughs> oh, this is uh, this is losers. Oh, wait, uh, this is losers. Yes. Really? Oh man, I must be not looking at the bracket right. Oh, let me see. Oh, you're right. Oh, I I be playing the winner at this. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess I forgot. Oh boy. <laughs> Yep. Oh. Playing her sounds like it's going to be pretty challenging. Yep. Just might be. Just might be. Kind of envious. I'd love to play with Ripple. I literally have not played Ripple's Meta Knight in like three years. She like every time I ask her to play, she's just never down. Really? Really? I don't know. She never wants to play me. Is it because of maybe specific characters uh, she wants to play? Probably. I have no idea. But... An unfortunate way. That's rough. It w actually wasn't a whiff, by the way. That was the iframes, I think. I'm, oh, pre I'm pretty sure that was the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was where just the iframes were trouble. He's <laughs> taunting. I love it. But uh, yeah, the shuttle was through under Ooh. there. We'll take the match. Here Scooped in the three stock. Ripple destroys yeah, Tenda in the fourth game of their set. Yeah, Meta Knights do that shuttle loop to counter my PK fires pretty good. 